So let's start the new lesson. It's lesson 9.3. It's scalar product and its properties, page 597. First of all, we need to know what does it mean, scalar product? How do we write it first? And why do we use it? The scalar product, we can use it in 2D and 3D. It means when I say 2D and 3D, it means I, I can have X and Y and I can have X, Y, and Z. And the notation of the scalar product is A dot B. First of all, I can give you the coordinates of two vectors. As I said here in the, in the IB books, they can write the vectors without the sign vector and even I can add the sign vector both are right so if you see it if you saw it without the sign vector it's right and with it it's also right if I have if it's given the coordinates of the two vectors so let's say I have the two vectors a I have x uh, x1 y1 z1 and the second vector b the dot product of a dot b we say or i can even write it like this okay so it's we say x1 times x2 plus y1 times y2 plus z1 times z2 in 2t uh, in uh, 2d sorry i will not have the z and then i will just uh, find the final answer it's going to be a constant so this is an example example if i have a 2 3 4 b 1 minus 1 2 What's going to be a dot b? It's 2 times 1 plus 3 times minus 1 plus 4 times 2. So the answer is 2 minus 3 plus 8, so it's 7. Now I can also ask you to find the dot product of two vectors using the magnitude and the angle between the two vectors. So the formula first is a dot b also is equal magnitude of a times magnitude of b. So this uh, notation, it means the length. Or the magnitude times cosine theta and theta is the angle between the two vectors this is another example i can give you the magnitude you have magnitude of a3 magnitude of b is 5 and theta is power over 6 so what's going to be a dot b it's going to be magnitude of a times magnitude of b times cosine theta i just replace i calculate and we'll find the answer now you're gonna say why do we have two formulas it's very important why do we have two formulas guys we have two formulas why we have two formulas i can give you the coordinate and ask you to deduce the angle between the two vectors so the two formulas sometimes i need to use it in the same time to deduce the angle between two vectors so let's do an example on purpose i gave you the the two vectors in this way so you can also see it ijk in the lebanese and american books you see the sign vector on top of those letters so if you saw that it doesn't mean that this is wrong and if you didn't see it, it doesn't mean that also it's wrong so first question i'm asking you to find a dot b so here i don't have any other choice than using the coordinates of a and b so it's two times one plus three times two so 2i it means this is x this is y and here it's minus 1 the z here the x is 1 y is 2 and z is 4 so it's 2 times 1 2 3 times 2 6 minus 1 times 4 minus 4 and then my final answer will be 4 now how are we going to deduce the angle between a and b so in this case i need to use the formula a dot b is equal magnitude of a times magnitude of b times cosine theta. Already I have the answer of a dot b. How do we find the magnitude of the vacuum we saw in the preceding lesson? It's radical x squared plus y squared plus d squared. And all what you need to do is to solve for cosine theta. So cosine theta will be equal to 4 over the magnitude of those, the two vectors. And then, guys, using your calculator, I do shift cosine. And then I will have the answer either in degree or in radian in both cases. It's right. Now, what are the properties that you need to know? And sometimes you will see in the exercise in the book that you need to prove those properties. Also, I wrote here vectors. So I like more to put the sign vectors. If you see it in the IB books without the vector sign, that means that it's wrong. If a dot b is zero, what does it mean? And I'm sure that a is not zero and b is not zero. It means a is perpendicular to b. Why, guys? Because when I say a and b are perpendicular it means if i use the formula the cosine formula it will be guys a times b times cosine 90 degree and what is cosine 90 is zero it means that a dot b is equal to zero i have the second property a dot b is the same as b dot a a dot a it's radical it's a, a magnitude of a squared y because if you write the formula it's magnitude of a times mag times cosine zero because when 
between the same two vectors, the angle is zero, so it's 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 um, magnitude a squared. A dot b plus c. It's I have this distributing property here, and if I'm multiplying the product by a constant the same as lambda a dot b or a dot lambda b, those properties we will prove it in the application, guys. Okay, we're gonna prove it in the application. The last part that's very important. It's a remark. If two vectors are collinear. A dot B will be equal to plus or minus magnitude of A times magnitude of B. Why do we have two cases? Because when I say collinear vectors, it means the vectors are parallel or they are lying on the same line. But I have two options. The two vectors could have the same sense like here. And the vectors can have opposite sense like here. When the two vectors they have the same sense, the angle between those two vectors is zero. So in this case, when I say a dot b, it's magnitude of b times magnitude of b times cosine zero. So in this case, a dot b gonna be the magnitude of a times magnitude of b. But if the vectors that have opposite sense, like here, if one is going this way and the other is going this way, and here in this case, the angle between those two vectors is 180. So here, if I will replace cosine by the angle, cosine 180 gives me minus one. So what's going to be the answer? Minus a magnitude of A times magnitude of B. This is all for this lesson. It's a very easy lesson. Uh, hope you will um, uh, get it more during the application. But it's really easy. See you guys next time in the second uh, 